Hello guys welcome back to the channel, in today's video the prolific Washington native rapper Wale takes us down memory lane, on his departure from the Jay-Z Rock Nation management, the rapper just dropped his first album in nearly two years, Fowler in two. During his press run, he stopped by the Drink Champs show hosted by Nori and DJ Effen, where he talked about his maturing and evolution as an artist. During the interview Wale also shed some on what were the reasons he left Rock Nation management. Based on a previous interview he had with The Breakfast Club he had stated earlier, the reason he left was because Rock Nation was venturing into the sports talent management industry, so he felt they wouldn't be able to focus as many resources as needed on him which would stunt his growth as an artist, and as we all know the music industry is extremely competitive. But in the clip we are about to listen to he also reveals that there was a financial component that also played a big role in his departure. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I, I think, I don't know, because I, know. I signed I signed with them early, like before I was even on MMG, so I don't know who they was managing. I think, I, I don't know who was management, who was artist. I know like it was like the Ting Tings, it was like... Like versus... Rihanna. I don't know who was what, management. I didn't know who was right, what. Right. I just knew that I go to Rich's office, I see Manili, I see Hove, I see Tata, and like that's, and then that's OG Wan from time to time, and I was, that, that's all I really knew. I was really, I, I was really green all this shit though. All right. Because also, he was like the first artist to say, I wanna, move on from rock nation yes at some point um well tell us about i don't know how to i don't know how to, all right well it's like reverse engineering right now let's go no um so what happened was you want another shot first i was uh we're taking a shot for this this nigga's trying to get me killed before no. i get to the airport <laughs> nah um nah uh i was i was what well, i was what well, i was in the whole cipher for a long time, and um, you said in the whole cipher, whole, 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 whole. Like it's meaning like Rock Nation in world, the level from the tour and everything, right? And oh, um, okay. I don't know. There was a time that I was on tour with J Cole. At this point, I'm, I was opening for him. I, they told me it was like a co headline tour, but whatever. Um, I was opening for him, and it was like a, it was kind of an elaborate stage, and this and third, and somebody. Of uh, note, somebody in my circle was like, "Yo, you know you're losing like five grand every time you go on stage. You're not even. You're, you're not. Not only are you not breaking even, you're losing money." And it was. It was like, at me and in that point in my life, it was just like I remember we was in. I forgot what city we was in, but I remember I was on. I was on the bus, and I remember I had got an offer to do another tour with two other artists, and. I wanted to go with Cole, because that's like my brother. We just did the whole tour together, whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And I remember being like, all right, cool. I'm going to just be like, let's let me do this tour, you know what I'm saying? With, uh, with, you know, with Cole or whatever. So I, um, we was on the road, and I was just like, man, um, I heard that from whatever. It doesn't matter who I heard it from. It was somebody that was close to the joint, and they was like, "Yeah, you're losing. I'm losing. I'm losing. You're losing. losing. He's not even breaking even. Yeah, the shows ain't. The shows is sold out, and I just couldn't. I again, I'm a young nigga. I couldn't make sense of it because I'm like, bro, I think this was the gifted was out, and I think the gifted went number two or one on Billboard, and I just couldn't understand it because I'm like, man, I could literally just be hosting clubs and just be like making like this at night X Y Z, and. I couldn't understand it, and I just like really had a meltdown, for real. And I remember whatever city I was in, it was like three days left, and I just quit the tour. I just quit, and I just remember one of them being Seattle. Which tours? This is Blueprint this was, Three. This was, no, this is this is Cole's. This is the Cole whatever uh, Born Center and Gifted, right? I think. And the and the difference is J Cole signed to Rock Nation as an artist, right? I wasn't even thinking about that. But I'm saying, was, is that the case though in the in this situation? Yeah, your management, yeah, 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 your yeah, management, yeah, 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 and he's yeah, an artist yeah. on. But the I label. didn't, I didn't at that point. I wasn't, I didn't know the. I just knew we was all of like. A, right, right, right. So I just was like, man, I'm losing. I'm like, man, because if I was on my, if I was doing, if I was torn by myself, I could, I could be like probably like busting it crazy every night, but you know what I mean. So I was, I just kind of had a meltdown and um. I didn't, I didn't know who to call, like who, like if my lawyer, my accountant, and I was just like, okay, um, the next day, 
I called somebody there, and um, they was like, you get this option or this option, and, you know, but it's been all love since. Right. You know, I just, was, I just wasn't, like, privy to this fucking music industry shit and how it worked. I just thought that I was like, yo, this, this many people in the room, I know that, we, you know, this is happening, blah, 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 but, mm. you know. But again, I learned, I learned it, and, you know, I learned a lot from them, and, I, man, Jay's still my idol, for real. He's still my favorite rapper, still my, you know. Last time I talked to him was at a, when Beyonce was, I believe when Beyonce was doing her arena tour. Mm. And I, I talked to him. But, Pretty like, small. I still got all, them, all, all the love for all of them. Well, that's what Wale had to say about his departure. He also talked during the interview about his displeasure about not being viewed as part of the rap Mount Rushmore. But that's a video for another day. Peace out.